Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you all the new feature of Filmora 12.2.1. Okay, so I wake up this morning and I open Filmora to continue my project and I can see this window. This window show all the new feature of this version and I think they are very interesting, especially about the title. Okay, so let me read this for you. So this is Filmora 12.2.1 new features. So we have key updates here. Uh, number one, added a brand new AI copywriting tools powered by OpenAI with ChatGPT. So this is already in the last version, okay? And number two, added the ability to set a video thumbnail when exporting your video. So now you can export your video and set a thumbnail and maybe it is a screenshot and then you can upload it to YouTube. We will find out later, okay? And number three, Update for the SRT subtitle editor. Now it support one click splitting and merging, adding more word art presets, animation preset, and easily modifying subtitle. And number four, support batch editing for title. You can now easily select and edit multiple title at one time. So this update is very interesting because normally when you write and drop the title onto the timeline, you can only edit that title box. You cannot apply your modification to all other title on the timeline, but now it is possible. Okay, so now I'm going to install the new update and show you how to use all this new feature. All right, let's go. All right, so my installation is finished and actually I try to create some project and to test out all these new features. And I think they are very interesting. So let me show you how to use them. For example, this is my test project. So let's just open it. So the first very interesting new feature is the batch formatting for the title. Okay, so if you want to format multiple title on the timeline, it is possible now. Okay, so let's go to title and drag and drop some title here. For example, I have this one, the first one, and this is the second one, the third one. And maybe I will need a video, so I'm going to use a video here. Just for example, okay, let's keep the project setting. For this one, I want to change the text to maybe my channel name, so I'm going to say Jackie. Okay, and for the second one, this is another title, so maybe we can say it YouTube, just something, okay? And the last one, we can say hello. Okay, and now we have three titles on the timeline, for example, this one, and this is the second one, and this is the first one. In order to format all the titles on the timeline, you can just highlight all the titles on the timeline with your mouse like this. Or you can press and hold the control key on your keyboard and then you can select this title and this title and this title. And then you want to just double click at the title box here. So we will say multiple and two items selected. Maybe you have to select the first one also. Okay, and now you can move the playhead to this one. For example, I can format this Jackie. I can change the fonts to maybe this one, Korea New, just a sample one. Okay, and I can also select a preset. For example, I can select a work art preset. I'm going to select this one, this colorful. Okay, and we have many more options here for the text. And we can even select an animation for this. For example, we can select typewriter for this title. And it will apply to all other titles, all the timeline, okay? Just double click here to apply the text writer, okay? And let's click OK. Now let's double check the second and the third title, okay? So this is the first one. Jackie, okay, typewriting text effect. And the second one, so the same format, right? And the next one, whoa, that's interesting, right? It can save a lot of time for matching the title with Filmora Trail now. Okay, and the second news feature is about the SRT file or the subtitle file. And I think it is also very interesting. Okay, and let me show you another example. All right, so let's go back to my media. I already imported an SRT file to Filmora. So this is my old SRT file. Okay, so you can check here. Hello and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Today we're going to talk about, so this is kind of boring subtitle, right? By the way, we can just right click at the subtitle, okay? And then we can select this option, advanced edit to edit this subtitle. 
And now you will see a new window and normally the subtitle editor will, will have the preview window on the right side and the customized layout on the left side but now it is on the right side okay for example now we can just select one subtitle box here and then we can select a preset for it first a preset here maybe we can select a word art preset or a normal preset for example i can select word art and i can select this one so you can see that it changed the subtitle here, right? And we can customize it like the title, okay? So there are many ways to customize it. And we can even select the animation for the subtitle. So it's kind of interesting new feature because with the previous subtitle editor, we cannot select the animation for the subtitle, okay? For example, we can select this one, this one, Rick Tick for this subtitle, okay? And if you want to apply this preset and animation to other subtitle, you just want to click this button, apply all. Okay, so just click here, apply all, and then let's play it. Channel today, talk about interesting, right? And the next feature in this subtitle editor is to merge the subtitle box or split the subtitle box. For example, we have this box today, uh, hello and welcome to another tutorial on my channel so this channel is a separate one for example today we're going to talk about how to add so now what if i want to merge this subtitle it is very simple just select two subtitle box right here and then you want to select subtitle and you have the button here merge okay just click here and it will merge this subtitle hello and welcome to another tutorial on my channel Today, we're going to talk about how to add animation, create, and I can do the same for this subtitle. By the way, you can press and hold your control key and click here and click here and click here to select this subtitle box. Okay, and then you can click merge and it was three subtitle into one. Today, we'll take to speech. Very interesting. So that is how to merge subtitle box. Okay, and if you want to split the subtitle box, it is also possible. All you need to do is to put the playhead here at the position where you want to split. And then you want to select this button, split. Okay, so it will split your subtitle into multiple box. All right, so that is the second new and interesting feature in Filmora 12.2. And the next one is also very interesting. And the next new feature in Filmora 12 is the ability to set a thumbnail for your video on your computer. And you will also have a screenshot for uploading to YouTube if you want, okay? So for example, I have a video here. And now what if I want to export it? So all I need to do is to click this export button okay and we can select local and then mp4 and we have the project name here for example i i say thumbnail example okay of course we have to go with setting and also set up the resolution frame rate or stuff like that but on the right side we have the thumbnail option right here okay so if you want to set a thumbnail for your video you want to click here at this button change thumbnail and now this is a current thumbnail and you can select a thumbnail from your video or you can select from local okay so for example we can just move the playhead to here and now this is from video okay so this is the thumbnail of the video we can just click here at this button set as thumbnail okay and now we have the thumbnail here and we can export it i'm going to export it and show you where's the thumbnail and the the screenshot okay okay so let's open the folder and this is this is my video and we have a screenshot here so let's zoom in so that you can see it better okay so this is a video okay thumbnail example and it's create a png thumbnail here also okay so this is our thumbnail it is very interesting right and it also set the thumbnail on your computer also Okay, so let's go back to Filmora because we have more option with this thumbnail feature. And let's click export and change the thumbnail. And now we can select a thumbnail or a, an image on our computer also. Okay, so we can select from local and then we can click here to browse an image on our computer. For example, I can select a random one. 
Uh, this one, for example, yeah, this is the mic, my new microphone, and let's click open. Okay, and we need to set the size to this one. I think it's okay, and we can set as thumbnail. And this is the thumbnail of the video. Okay, so we can say this is test number one, and then we can export. Okay, and we can open the folder. Okay, test. So this is the video, and this is the thumbnail, and this is the image. We can double click. So it's create a YouTube thumbnail for you, and also a new thumbnail on your computer. Okay. Alright, so these are all the new features in Filmora 12.2. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!